What up, y'all? Hip Hop MD, Hip Hop Science. We are blessing this space right now, our first sit down interview. I have my new friend, Josh Willis. That's weather. Oh, that's the weather you got. Oh, uh -huh. but you take it with your weather and your averages together and you do in the climate rock. Climate scientist extraordinaire, right? You would say? I, I would say, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Anything you want to do, you'd have to be an extraordinaire at for sure. You should be, yeah. Uh, you work with NASA, but today you're not on behalf of NASA. He is here as an individual, as an expert in his own field, um, talking about climate today. Yeah. All right? You're ready to have some fun? That's right. So I'm a scientist, you're a scientist, all right? We have a love for comedy and entertainment and passion for, for the sciences overall in general. So I'm glad you're sitting down with me here today. You know, everybody's talking about climate, climate change, global warming. Um, and I feel there's like a misconception as far as what exactly climate change or global warming is. Just for our general viewers that are just trying to get a good understanding of the two issues, can we go into a little bit about climate change from your perspective and global warming, um, how the two are synonymous or not synonymous, and what people should know about both? Climate change is a word we often use to describe about how the whole planet is changing in this big, fundamental way. Mm -hmm. And what's happening is that the fuel we use, everything we use to make energy, to drive our cars, we get that fuel by digging it up out of the ground yep. and burning it. Mm -hmm. And when we burn it, it adds carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. And carbon dioxide essentially traps heat from the sun. Yeah. So the sunlight comes in, it warms up the surface of the planet, and then the surface of the planet actually tries to send the energy back out to space. But carbon dioxide traps it. So we're trapping extra heat on the planet. And as a result, the whole thing is heating up. Heating up, hence the term it's global warming. Global warming, right. Mm -hmm. So global warming is accurate. That is definitely happening. People argue about the terms because of the kind of, uh, the, the connotations, the feelings they invoke in different people. Yeah. Climate change is also correct because the planet's not just getting hotter. Weather patterns are changing. The places where there's rainfall are changing and sea level is rising. So as the ice sheets melt and glaciers melt all around the world, they add extra water to the ocean. That causes sea levels to rise all across the planet. And remember, our planet is 70% water 70% right. water that's a fun fact I feel like we all learn that in school yeah, right and then as right. we get older we tend to kind of forget that like you yeah. know we're, we're so you we're on land here right. this is what we see right and we really we forget to realize that there's water covering literally our whole planet that's yeah. right that's right and the oceans are actually in a way they're the most important part of climate change because over 90% of that heat that we trap mm -hmm. like 95% of it warms the oceans mm -hmm. so we think of the planet heating up because of the air heating up that's where we live we think of the ice melting but really 95 percent of global warming is in the oceans you know you always kind of hear especially with like the whole polar vortex that happened earlier and people are like oh it's so cold how, how can global warming be exist when this weather is getting cold what do you have to say about people that have that type of belief climate scientists and others want to start calling it things like climate disruption Mm -hmm. uh, or a climate crisis because you know you can have a crazy cold winter because of global warming I know that sounds weird yeah but you warm up the top of the earth you warm up the Arctic Ocean mm -hmm. and then the winds that go around the, the, the North Pole that keep Santa Claus in check you know, <laughs> <laughs> they start to break down and they they veer way far south and north and those veering winds, they steer that cold air instead of being up there on the North Pole, it steers down into Minnesota, mm -hmm. right? And then yep. Minnesota gets all this snow and it's super cold. And that's part of the disruption of the climate. It's part of the craziness of the climate. So, mm -hmm. you know, some people call it global warming. Some people call it climate change. I call it climate crazy. Climate gone wild. That's right. You're <laughs> um, you've been doing a lot of studies with uh, Greenland. Uh, talk to us about the research studies they've been doing on Greenland, why Greenland, and also some of the research uh, information and findings that you've discovered. I have a mission at NASA. It's called Oceans Melting Greenland, okay. or OMG for short. OMG, OMG. all right. Check it out. I like the acronyms. Okay. As, yeah, OMG NASA, check it out. <laughs> uh, and we study how much the oceans are responsible for melting away the ice in Greenland. Greenland is this giant block of ice. Yep. It's Don't too, let the name fool you. Yeah. Greenland <laughs> is ice. Iceland is really green. I've, I've been to Iceland, Iceland is and it's absolutely nice. beautiful. Yeah, it's like, right. it looked like Jurassic Park. I was like, this, right. is, this is amazing. <laughs> so as the water warms up, it can melt away the edges of the glacier, 
cause the glaciers to speed up and dump more ice in the ocean, and this can cause sea level rise as well. So we're trying to figure out how much the ocean's responsible for the ice melting versus the atmosphere. Why specifically Greenland did you choose to do this study? You could have done you know, Antarctica, there yeah. are many other places with glaciers that you could have done research studies. Well, Greenland is the, the second largest ice sheet on the planet. It has enough ice to raise sea levels by 25 feet. Wow. Now we don't expect it that's all across the globe. Across the globe, bucks. the whole member. And that, is that if is, is that if the, if, right. Jeff, if that ice sheet alone melts, if that, that ice would sheet, raise yeah, if, if Greenland's Amazing. ice sheet, yeah. And remember, two thirds of the planet is what, like seventy percent of the planet is water, right? Yeah. So seventy percent of the planet rising by twenty five feet. Mm -hmm. That's how much ice there is in Greenland. This show is called Hip Hop Science, <laughs> right? So we, I mean, we couldn't leave this interview without talking some hip hop, all right? All right. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do some quiz questions here. We're gonna, we're gonna guess your, uh, your hip hop knowledge in conjunction with obviously what we're talking about today, climate change and global warming. First question, this rapper released a song called Climate that featured Barack Obama speaking about global warming in the intro. Drake, was it Eminem, You Got, or D, Two Chains? Oh. Uh, oh man, this one's gonna be the random yeah. guess of the day. I'm gonna say Drake, but I feel like I'm wrong. Um, that would be incorrect. Oh. It is not Drake, even though Drake has released some hot music recently. Uh, the answer would be my guy, one of my favorite rappers, or in one of my favorite rap groups of all time, You Got. He had a song called Climate that was released on his album, Venom, um, that actually had an intro with Barack Obama. It was, it was pretty fire. Venom was a pretty fire uh, album. Uh.